Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. I'm hoping that this will be a very succinct video now that I kind of have like a formula for how I want to talk about these things. Um, I do have a very special guest. You can't see him right here. The dog has, um, my sister and her dog are visiting for the holidays. Um, are here for the holidays and so he has decided to sleep in my room for I don't know how long that's gonna last but for right now he's in my room so he's just kinda hanging out here he's already tried to close my computer on several occasions to tell me to go to bed so we'll see how long he lets me do this um, but I am here to recap Asia Super Young episode 5 um, I just officially watched all of the performances because I like to watch them on the YouTube version because it's bigger than my phone um, yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about it. So how I did this to this time, because I know like what's shown on each one, is I watched the like the preview on the extended version, so the like practicing, the behind the scenes, that kind of stuff, and then I skipped to the next person's preview, um, and then I went to the regular version, like the TV aired version and watched the judges' comments because those are, on the extended version, it's more of like a, um, like an auto-generated caption, so sometimes the captions are weird. Um, but on the, like, aired version, those are real captions, so that, like, real translated captions, so that was really helpful for, like, the judges' comments and things. And then I watched the actual performances on the computer so I can say my true feelings and vibes um, but it's a little bigger and it's a little more fun for me to watch on there so anyway um, it starts with Ollie's team coming out um, and what I didn't know that Switch to You was Rain's song I didn't realize that I don't know enough of Rain's songs like I know Rain is them and that's about it um, and Gang I think is one of his songs um, was Law one of his songs that they performed on Boys Planet? I don't even remember. Um, but it starts with Ollie's team. They're performing, performing Rain songs. And a lot of the boys were talking about how, like, it's really hard. It's probably really hard to perform it because the, per, the performer is right there in front of you. Um, which is probably why it was the last song picked by all the boys. But this group is, um, they're called Switch Together. And it is Ali, Leo, Akliar, Lucifer, Cheng Liu, and Koske. Um, they are watching the preview for the song in the room, to, like the demo for the song, in the same room with Vic's team. Um, and Ali's already like learning the choreo. He's already kind of like dancing along to it. Um, and Lucifer in English says like, "Oh, fast learner, fast learner." And then. Um, Akaliar and Lucifer are worried that it's going to be like a big challenge for them. Um, there is this cute moment, I wrote it down, uh, it's Lucifer and Koske and Akaliar are standing like on the end of the group and they kind of zoom in on them and um, they know that Koske is kind of a good dancer and Akaliar kind of leans around him and looks at Lucifer and says, Do you, can you speak English? And Lucifer's like, not really. And they're like, I really want to talk to him, like, meaning Kosuke, but they don't, like, they can't speak Japanese, so they're, like, trying to find the words in English to say. Um, and then Akaliar ends up, like, tapping him, like, a tiny little tap on his shoulder, and Kosuke is really short. Um, and, like, Akaliar is really tall. Like, how tall are they? I wrote them down in here. Um, Akaliar is 186 centimeters, and Kosuke is 173 centimeters. So that's already, like, 13 centimeters apart. Um, which I think I translated that, and that's, like, 6 foot 2. Actually, are 6 foot 2. Um, and then 175 is, like, 5 foot 7-ish, I think. Um, anyway, um, but so they're, like, he taps him on the shoulder, like, tiny little tap. And he says, like, do you think this is hard? And then Kosuke's like, no, easy, easy. And they're like, easy? Like, they just, they're, like, freaking out. They're like, this is easy. Um, and then they show them practicing, and Ollie's really helping them with the dance practice. 
Um, he's mostly helping Lucifer, but there is um, Akliar in there too. And I don't know what it is. Him just like standing, um, Akliar is standing there with like basketball shorts on and just like a t-shirt. But for some reason, like he like makes it look really nice. And I think it maybe it's because the other boys are stand like in more like sweatpants and like more like casual, not casual clothes. I don't want to say that, but like more idle casual clothes. Idle like casual clothes, I guess. Um, and he's just like totally not. I don't know, but it like looked really good. They all kind of were like leader of something. Like Akliar was the trick leader. Leo was the vocal leader. And Kosuke was the dance leader. They go to the midterm and Cheng Chao says that they are out of sync. There's a part where like they all six dance together and then Leo and Ollie and Cheng Liu um they go off like they go one way and the other three boys go the other way. Um and she makes them do it again because they're all moving differently and Ollie basically says like, Oh, I he I'm having trouble seeing it. Um, and she kind of gives him a look like she's not pleased with his co um, comment. Um, and then he kind of laughs. And then she keeps having him, like, lead the, those three in the movement. And he keeps doing it, but then he keeps, like, laughing with them because they keep making mistakes. And she kind of calls him out and says, like, you're the leader. She's like, you have to be serious. She's like, it's not a time to joke around. And he's like, okay, got it. Um, and then... They perform in front of Fama, the duo, so um, Six Wing and Sequan, and they both tell Ollie to kind of work on his rap flow, like it's a little, like, they don't use the word boring, but that's kind of how they say it, like it's a little bit boring, it's not super, like, interesting. And they kind of show Ollie in the, in like a talking head, and he, like, was almost in tears because he was talking about how, like, He felt kind of like a bad leader, um, and then that's when they showed that everyone was like the leader of something, um, and that Ollie was the rap leader, and so he like felt like he should have had been better if he was going to be the rap leader. Um, and then they show him like in the, the, he's in the practice room, and the other boys are kind of sitting at a table, um, and he's like, he's standing there and he's like, okay guys, I need to fix my flow, like how can I fix my flow? And they kind of like talk him through what he, like, like, what they think they, the, um, those two guys meant, um, and he kind of, like, like, I think it's Lucifer, and he kind of, like, punches it in the way that they, he thinks they do, um, and so Ollie practices and practices, go out to perform, and they say they're the Switch Together team, um, Ollie says, hi, I'm training number one, he's the leader, um, and then, when they show uh, the boys in the um, practice room and Renesuke and Sean, like bigger Sean, are sitting next to each other and Renesuke goes, oh, Ollie cute! And then Sean laughs. Um, and then Leo says, I'm training number two. I'm switched to 20 because it was his birthday yesterday and he turned 20. Um, Lucifer is training three. He's switched to dance because it's his first time singing and dancing together. Um, Kosuke's number four, and he says switch to rap because it's his first time being the main rapper. Um, number five is Akliar, and he says switch to vocal because it's his first time singing. Cheng Liu is number six. He's switched to smile because he's hoping his facial expressions will, um, will really show on the stage. Um, and watch this. Akliar's outfit looks very, like, it reminds me of Christmas because he and Kosuke are both wearing these, um, black, not black, green velvet pants, um, and Kosuke has, like, a black shirt on, so it doesn't look as weird, but then Aguilar has, like, a jacket with, like, hints of red in it, and it just it reminds me of a Christmas jacket, um, but when I watched this, Ollie and Leo really stood out the most to me for this, um, their rapping was really cute, like, I really liked their rapping. Um, I love Ollie. Like, Ollie's rapping is always funny. Like, he has, like, a deep Chinese rap, and then when he raps in English, it's, like, much more cute. It's so funny. Um, they were a little bit off, like, off sync in their dancing, uh, but they had two, like, or three, like, 
really not dancers in their group. Um, the boys freaked out when they were done. They thought it was really good. Uh, the judges complimented Leo's voice. He has like a high note in the song and they thought he did really well. Um, Six Wing says it feels refreshing, like a first love. Um, and then Ollie laughs. And then he asks Ollie about switching his rap flow. And Ollie says he did. And then he said he must be like a rap genius to change it in such a short time. Um, so then Ollie gets really pleased. But then Rain comes in and has to ruin it um, because he, oh no, because they said something about he was really clear, um, his rap flow was really clear, and then Rain said, well, like, in our, in your in-ear, it's not very clear, and it's not very, um, yeah, he said, like, but it's not in here, in my in-ear, and then Ollie said, like, he was trying to do vocal and rap, so he didn't put all of his energy into one or the other, and that he's like, that's a me problem, and then he just bowed or whatever, and then Rain didn't say anything, and I was like, whatever, Rain, like, whatever, if it's more about the performance, and it asks Lucifer about auditions, uh, but basically he talks to Lucifer about, like, him being harsh on him on auditions, and he's like, yeah, I remember, and he's like, do you hate me, and Lucifer's like, no, I don't hate you, um, he said it like made him want to try harder and impress the um judges and so rain said like he has to like fix things but he does dance well and he says Aclayar's improved as well um they really liked he does like a flip in there they really liked his flip um then vic's group comes out and vic's group is the switch on group and their group is vic kim dongbin um, Jun Lan, Shin Lao, Atia, and Won, the, uh, Boys Planet Won, um, they immediately started with the drama where they just start saying, I didn't realize who they were talking about at first because I don't know, the, I don't know their Chinese names very well, um, because when they translate everything, they translate it with the, like, the English version of their name for most of them, but they were talking about Vic, and it was Jun Lan and Shin Hao, and they were in, like, their talking heads, and they were like, Ah, Vic, basically, like, whatever his name was. And I was like, oh my god, what happened? Um, it was very reminiscent of K-Soul in Fantasy Boys, except for more redeemable. But, so basically, they were in the singing part, and from what I gathered, it was really tricky to understand, because the, um, translations weren't accurate. But the teacher who... I feel like he's supposed to be the teacher, but he didn't really, like, tell them anything. He asked them about the parts, and I guess Atiyah was supposed to bring, sing the beginning, but it was too hard for him to sing it, and so the boys thought Vic should sing it, and he was worried about, like, he was worried about it, and then they, like, had an order, so each boy had a part, and so then the teacher was like, I think if he can't sing it, you need to sing part one, and so Vic was like, okay, I can, and then... But then the other boys were talking, um, and there's a f cute moment where Kim Dong Bin starts to talk, and he can only speak Korean, and so one goes over next to him, and he, like, puts an arm around him, like, he's like, here comes your translator, like, it was so cute, and then he kind of translates for Kim Dong Bin, but Kim Dong Bin was saying that he, um, but now Vic has two parts, he has part one and part three, and Atia has no parts, and in the beginning, so they need to, like, redistribute it, but Vic wants that part because it's a good part, um, and he said that he thinks Vic is worried about being compared to Leo because they have similar parts, um, and they're in the same group, and it was weird because the teacher was just, like, standing there, like, on his phone, he wasn't, like, contributing at all, and then Vic was kind of, like, arguing back, um, and it, like, I feel like the teacher should have said, like, yeah, you take this part, he takes this part, like, try it. Or, like, they didn't, but they didn't do anything. And I, like, I get that they're trying to let them, like, kind of lead themselves and govern themselves. But I think there is, as a teacher myself, I think there is a point where it's like, you just told him that he has to take part one because this other boy can't sing it. Like, what I would say, if it was, like, my children that were arguing, 
but I really wanted them to like figure it out. I would say like, well, just try it, like try it that way. And then if it doesn't work, you know, like if a tea still can't sing it, then they need to figure something else out. But, um, it was weird. Like that was weird. Um, and then they, so they said they felt like Vic was being greedy and comparing himself to Leo and he wasn't fully listening to everyone else. Um, then they have a meeting where they want to change captains and Kim dong bin kind of starts it and then um, Jun Lan and Shin Hao kind of get involved and they kind of like back up Kim dong bin and Vic was like I don't think he was kind of from what the vibe I got was that he was trying to say that like well you just want to be the leader like he didn't say those words at least not in the translation that's the vibe that, like, from what their reactions were, it kind of seemed like he was saying, like, well, you just want to be the leader, so you think, like, I'm a bad leader, but I don't think I'm a bad leader. I'm the leader of N1. Um, and then Shin Hao and Jun Lan were kind of saying, like, this is an everybody agreement. He's like, we wouldn't be here with everybody telling you this if we didn't all think it was a good idea. Talk to Vic, and Vic gets kind of heated, and Shin Hao gets kind of heated. He's not, like, yelling at him, and Vic isn't really yelling back, but he's very much, like, upset, you can tell. Um, and then they have, like, a talking head of Vic explaining that he went to go talk to one of his team members, and I think it was Leo, but it might have been Sky, because he says their Chinese name, and I can't figure out who it is. Um, but he says he goes and talks to him, and he was just, like, hugging him, and telling him kind of what was going on and just talking it through and he said after that I realized that I might have been like basically he kind of says like I might have been overreacting like I think I made it a bigger deal like I might have been doing those things that they said I was doing um and so then he comes back and they're all wearing the same clothes and he does say like we took an hour about an hour break we took about an hour break um and I like had time to reflect basically and I think that you're right um, I'm not being a good leader. I'm not listening to everybody, but I do want us to like try. And so he's, they said that Kim Dong Bin was going to be the like rehearsal leader and then Vic was going to be the stage leader. Um, and then, um, Shin Hao also kind of apologizes. Like, I think he realized he was also a little bit harsh. And so he says like, we like, we accept your apology, we recognize that you're trying, and also we want to apologize that, like, we weren't, we weren't trying to say that you are a terrible leader in general. We were just saying that, like, right now you're not doing a good job of being a leader, basically. Um, but he, then he does say that, like, Kim Dong-bin is really, like, sweet and generous, and so he's, um, he's a good person to like listen to them at rehearsals but he but Vic still gets to like give input and kind of like oh about the overall performance and stuff um so then their group switch on they all walk out kind of like models and um they introduce themselves and they're all like kings and so Vic is the king of contrasting charms he says he wants to lock onto your gaze Dongbin is the king of creativity Junlan is um from the Kingdom of Wishes. Shin Hao is opening um, the signal receiver for us to like get the whatever, receive the receive the performance. Um, Atia is opening cuteness and even though he's tall he's like the youngest member and then um, Ju uh, Wan is opening the phone photo because he wants everyone to have his phone photo as their background. Um, and then I did take a screenshot of this but there is, uh, right after the rapping part in their, um, in the song, there's like the, there's two vocals singing at the same time. And in Ollie's group, it was, um, it was Cheng Liu and Lucifer. But in this group, it's Junlan and Shin Hao. And they're both from, um, they're both from boyhood, so they both know each other really well. But their chemistry is like, next level and they even show Ollie being like you guys lost you guys lost like in this because their chemistry was so high um and a lot of people said this group was more complete 
And I agree with, like, their skills it was more complete. But I did think that Ollie's group was more fun to watch. Um, but this group, like, was technical, technically was more complete. I think they do say that later, too. But a lot of people, like like people watching it that were commenting were saying that they liked Vic's group better um but they love Ollie and I I love both Ollie and Vic but I think I personally like Ollie's just a little better because it was more entertaining to watch it's not necessarily they were better technically but I found it more entertaining that Shin Hao did stand out the most to me I know the least amount about him from all of the boyhood boys like I really know nothing about him um, he seems kind of snooty sometimes, like, in the shots they show him, like, he's just sitting off to the side, like, making, like, snide comments under his breath. Like, not mean comments, but just, like, sarcastic comments under his breath. Um, but he stood out really a lot in this show. Um, and then Atia also stood out. There was a really cute, um, Atia Dongbin, like, singing part where they, like, high-five and, like, look at each other. It's so cute. Um... The judges' comments, six, after their song, obviously, they stand in and get voted for. And then after they get voted for, the judges give comments. And um, Six Wing says that he liked Dongbin's rap, but he needs more character to his rap. And he used the example of, like, I need to know, like, that's Kim Dongbin rapping. Like, if I hear it, I need to know, like, that's you. That's your unique style. Um, and he said it's more old-school Korean rap, but it does, it's, like, it's more emulating them. It's not, like, his own style. Um, Rain said that the group was, they were technically very good, but they were too excited. Like he said, Vic was too, like, show-off-y, like he was too eager to show off his skills and what he knows that he kind of overdid it a little bit, um, which could be why it wasn't as entertaining, like, to me as the viewer. He said that Junlan, Junlan was the best, and he didn't look at the floor because he, um, critiqued him at the auditions of him looking at the floor, like not being confident enough to look him in the face. Um, and then he said, they didn't show it in the aired version, but in the um, the other version they did, he actually taped Rain's photo. Oh no, they did show it, I think. Yeah, they did show it. They said he taped, he taped Rain's photo to the to the mirror in the practice room and he would practice in front of it every day so that he was really felt really comfortable looking in Rain's eyes and then he said that um, Shin Hao was a little faster than the others like when he danced he was always a little bit ahead of everybody else um, and he said Atiyah is a good dancer that because a lot of the like skills and technique that you learn in ballet are not conducive to like pop dancing and he said a lot of the he didn't notice a lot of those behaviors in the like in this performance, um, but he acknowledged that it is hard to switch from like a classical background to a more like poppy, um, hip hoppy background. And then um, Cheng Shao said that it happened to her, but she suggests that like ballet right now is the thing he's known for, and he's really good at it. But she suggests he also find other things that he's good at so that he can keep. Um, like keep having new things she's like I want you to be known for this thing and this thing and this thing like more new things and she said because it happened to me and from what I g gained from the comments was that when she was in um, WJS and Cosmic Girls she had to keep doing I don't know if it was technically ballet but she like had something she was good at and they kept asking her to do it or she kept doing it in all of the songs that they were a part of so I think that is why she's saying that she like is for speaking from experience of like I also did this and you need to stop doing you need to have other things too. Um, they bring up both teams and when they both come up, Leo and Vic hug um, when they get on stage. He's when he's about about to announce, um, Rain goes and the winner is um, mentor Sue's gonna announce it and he hands the like cue card to him. That's the guy with the wolf cut. And he says, and it's all written in Korean. Isn't this bullying? Like, I can't read that. Um, and so then Rain kind of leans over and tells him what it says. And then he announces that it's Ollie's team that wins. 
um, and they get really excited. And then Vic says, I, and then they all hug that team, and he says, I want to give them something, and it's like, I think it's his name tag, but he folded it up, so it says, like, Vic, like, from Victory or whatever, so it says, like, or it's got the character from his name that means Victory, and he holds it up, and he says, I'm going to give it to them, and he gives it to um, Leo, and Leo's like, we won! Like, it's very cute. He's like here. He's got his knees out. His whole foot is out. See, um, look at his foot. I can pick it up. Anyway, um, they no blepping. Um, they go in the back room to like look at their scores and stuff. Um, and they announce. So, so I'll announce the sh the least amount to the highest amount for each group. Um, so in Ollie's group, uh. Kosuke only gets three votes, which I was a little sad about because he's really good. Um, Liu gets 15 votes. Lucifer gets 22 votes. Leo gets 31. And Akliar gets 57. And then Ollie wins, and he has a secret amount of votes. Um, and their disparity wasn't super high, but there was a big gap between the two. Um, and then in Vic's group, 22. Junlan gets 22. Atia gets 24, Vic gets 28, Wan gets 30, Dongbin gets 69 points, and then Shinhao gets secret number of points. Um, and then they move on to Legend of the Hungry Wolf groups, um, which are the ones that everyone's looking forward to the most, which I think is probably why they put these groups at the end. Um, and Sonhei's group goes first. Uh, if you do end up watching the performances on the Asia Super Young um, YouTube page, they got the screenshots mixed up, so it's a picture of Sonhei's group, but it's actually Ellie's group's performance. I found that out the hard way, and then I looked and Ellie's group's screenshot is actually the other group's performance, because I wanted to watch them in order, but I accidentally watched them out of order. Um, but Sonhei's group is... Um, but it is Sonhei, Ashley, Neil, Paco, Shenda, and Dale. Um, and they are in the dance practice, and Neil is having trouble learning. Um, he has no dancing or singing experience, so he's having a really hard time picking it up. Like, in the vocal performance, he's having a really hard time um, matching the notes, and so Sonhei keeps, like, singing the notes to get him started, but he keeps, like, running out of power, um, and so the teacher's trying to help him. This group, he has them do, like, like, to warm up, um, and then, who is it, there's a couple boys, I think it's Neil and Paco, that are having trouble, like, even making that noise with their mouth, and so he tells them to, like, use their cheek, like, hold their cheeks or whatever, um, and then they're, like, doing it, doing runs with it, and I think it's Shenda who keeps going higher and higher, and then he runs out of notes on the keyboard to, like, match Shenda's notes. Um, but it was really cute. At the uh, midterm performance, the boys are dancing, and Xiao is, she's telling them, she's like, you are the wolf team. She's like, you need to not be, she's like, we don't want lazy wolves, we want, like, heart, like, strong wolves. So they have, like, a move where they stand like this, and she just walks over, and she just, like, hits their hands. Like, I think she starts with Ashley, and she just, like, hits his hands. And he kind of, like, flinches, and then she hits someone else's hands. And then she goes over, and she hits, um... Oh, my God, what's his name? The, uh, Neil. She, like, hits Neil's hands, and she's like, he's the weakest one. So now you have to help... Or she's like, you all have to help him. And Fama Sequan asks him about, like, why he's singing so timidly. And he basically says, like, he's never had, like, singing he's never trained in singing and he's like ah that makes sense that makes sense and then he's telling the, he, they basically like tell the other boys like you need to help him get to where he needs to be um and then they show in like a little talking head that um Neil was saying that instead of them like being resentful towards him because he's hurting their chances or like trying to make themselves look better so he looks bad they really like helped him and took care of him 
um, and he was feeling like a little emotional about it. I think there is also a scene where they like eat to they're eating together because I think it was in that time talking about it and <laughs> all of a sudden it's like I bet you're wondering what's Ollie doing here and you like and Ollie's there and I think Ollie's the one that said it and everyone's like it's okay we're all family we're all like we have family or whatever um but it's just funny because it's like he's definitely like he's just the Uewa Twainy's baby um so they just all kind of like adopt him they just like like especially like Sonhei and Ashley are like his mom and dad almost so he's just always with them so he's like I bet you're wondering why I'm here they're like just eat just eat like stop saying that um so they come out and they're oh the hungry wolf that's what they are I think um but they come out and they are princes and so there's the elegant prince, which is Sonhei. Um, this is just like when they walk out, they like showed each of their faces and they said like, elegant prince, there's elegant prince Sonhei, gentle prince Ashley, majestic prince Paco, melancholy prince Dale, youthful prince Neil, and lovely prince Sungdae, or Shenda. Um, and then Albert keeps talking about how handsome they are. Uh, Paco has blonde hair and it looks really nice on him. Um, And then they introduce themselves, and he says, I'm the cheerful wolf with a lively atmosphere. Um, Shengda says, I'm Sungdae. I'm a cute wolf with a baby face. Um, Ashley says he's a wolf who can summon the night sky. Dale says he's a lamb that you won't fear. Oh, and they all, like, um, they all kind of howled after theirs, then Dale didn't. Um... And then Albin was like, where's his howl? I was waiting for his howl. Like, he just was so excited about the howl. Um, and then Neil says he's a growing little wolf and doesn't howl. And then Sonhei says he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. And then Albert I says, oh, he's so handsome. And then um, Ashley tells the boys, he's like, are you ready? Close your eyes at night. And then some of the boys in the um, dressing room, they, like, cover their eyes. Uh, and then they do their performance and I think Ashley really stood out the most to me you see him a lot in the show in this performance too um, but Shenda's voice he's dancing better um, or his voice is like so powerful um, of the two performances that I watched for these two I really like the I think the dancing in this group is better than the other group um, so I liked their dancing in this group better. This group is over. Carl is backstage and he says he's nervous. Uh, and then the judge, they do, of course, their voting. And then the judges talk. And Six Wing says that... He's pushing me. Um, someday he's asked about his Cantonese learning. Um, and then they show a clip of him at... Because uh, er, he says Sonhei taught him Cantonese. Because the song's in Cantonese. Um, and they show a clip of them at the midterm where there's a part where he, like, walks through all the members and he sings this note and he was so strong that, like, both of the Fama members, like, backed up. They were like, whoa, what is this? And they told him, excuse me, they told him that his Cantonese was better than the other five members can well, except for Paco, but he, they said that his Cantonese was better than the other members. Um, and he, they to basically told someone, hey, they're like, you taught him so well that he, like, surpassed you in level. Um, and they said his Cantonese is much clearer than the other members. Um, and Shao says, like, I told you to be more powerful, and it definitely worked. I can see it now. Um, but now they need to, like, connect it, because she's saying, like, they're really powerful with their arms, but they need to, like, also get their body connected. Um and that'll really help like strengthen their moves and then she says that Neil did improve a lot and they really helped him and Neil thanks Sonhei um, and then Sonhei says actually like I picked him when I was picking groups because I pick I like I knew he didn't have a lot of experience and I wanted to make sure that we helped him grow um, kind of like he didn't want like, not saying that I wanted to be the one to help him grow, which is kind of, like, how I wrote this, but it was more, like, I wanted to see him grow, and he, like, he knew that there was potential in there, and he wanted to make sure that he got the guidance and the whatever that he needed so that he could grow. Um, 
Rain comments on their lack of confidence from before and says it's improved because I feel like they feel like they need to say that to all the boyhood members. Um, and then they go to Ellie's group, um, and Ellie's group is the Wolfsburg family, and it's Ellie, Jerry, Dancha, Carl, DC, and Orenda. Um, again, they go to them showing the um, the demo. And Duncha's already learning it, like he's already got the half of it memorized. Um, and then they, it shows them, they kind of like start trash talking each other, like I can't remember who starts it. I think someone says something, and then there's like a specific one I remember where like, it's because it's like Duncha and Ashley, and Ashley's like so gentle that it's so funny. But Duncha's like, well, we're already halfway done because I've already learned all the choreo. We're going to learn it really fast. And Ashley was like, faster doesn't mean better. And they were like, ooh. But it was, yeah, it was very cute. The trash talk was hilarious. Um, DC says he's going to help with the vocals. Uh, and he, like, in their singing parts, he basically says, like, if there's anything you can't sing that's, like, too high, just give it to me and I'll help you. Um, and Orenda helps with the rap. Um, Doncha is the dance, like, captain. He helps with the dance. Uh, Carl is like a can helps with the Cantonese and Jerry helps with the mood uh, they were kind of talking about everybody and they're like oh model model and there shows a clip of Jerry walking like without a shirt and the producers are like can you put a top on and he kind of looks at them and they're like I mean we can still air it but and then he just kind of smirks and walks away uh, and then you do see Orenda in the back also doesn't have a shirt on and I think he has a tattoo like down his side here um, which is kind of cool and they show them like in the practice room like those two are practicing without a shirt on but they um, are practicing dancing and DC Jerry and Carl have dance struggles but mostly DC is really struggling with the dance um, and so don't just to help him a lot and the other boys do help him too um, but they come out and they introduce themselves and they're the Wolfsburg family Orenda says he's the gray wolf and the captain because he's the captain of the team um, Carl is the sports-loving black wolf who is responsible for the Cantonese. Jerry is the white wolf in charge of humor. DC is the banana wolf. Um, Tiancha is the little gray wolf who's in charge of dance. And Ellie says he's the red wolf. And then they go, he goes, but wait, where's the, um, he goes, Orenda, where's the sheep? And then Orenda's like, the sheep, they just left. Like, is it like a meeting, like the other team? Intimidation tactic. And then Leo from the waiting room goes, oh, how arrogant. Like, it's very cute. Um, I was watching, in the performance, there's a part where Jerry shows his abs and everyone freaks out. And then, like, Ellie takes his coat off at one point. And he has clothes on underneath. Like, he has a shirt on and stuff underneath. But he takes, like, his jacket part off and throws it and Ollie comments on it later he thought that was like super cool like that like Ellie's so, such a cool guy um but to me in this performance the people who stood out the most was um Dancha and Carl really stood out to me too um I think he has like a deep voice and they did show him a lot as well um Ellie has a lot of close-ups so it seems like he stands out the most but he just like gets the most screen time I liked the singing in this group better than the other group, like it was more strong and stable, but I liked the dancing in the other group better. It almost seemed like, like there was more, like there was more stuff going on, there was more things to watch, but it just felt busier. Like it didn't feel more entertaining than the other one. Like the other Sunday's group was a lot of like dancing in sync in kind of the same general space. In this group, there was a lot of, like, these people over here, these people over here, these people behind. Like, there was a lot of levels and layers, but it seemed more too busy. Like, it just, like, like I couldn't figure out where to watch. Like, who am I supposed to be watching? Who's singing? What am I supposed to be looking at? Um, it was very entertaining, and I feel like if I was there in person, I would have really enjoyed it. But, like, watching it, too, on the computer was, like, they were showing something over here, but, like, the person over here was singing or something. Like, it was tricky to see. Um... And after the performance is done, they show, like, the boys clapping, and John has his mouth open, and he's clapping, and then he just goes, like, he just does that, one of those things. Um, 
and then the first group is basically like, we've already lost, like, we're losing to them, they are winning. Uh, and then Ollie says he likes Ellie's group more. Um, the They do the voting, and then the judges talk, and they talk about how Carl is not a trainee. Um, and mentor Sue says he was actually a judge for Mr. Hong Kong when, um, when Carl was winning, or came in runner-up. Um, Six Wings says he was also there too, but I couldn't quite figure out what he said he did there. They're both, um, Hong Kongese, I think. Uh, Rain comments on Ellie. He says that Ellie is the ace of ASY, but he didn't live up to his full potential. He was a little disappointed. I'm sorry. Gosh. I'm taking too long to film this video. Um, but he was a little disappointed in Ellie's, like, overall performance. Um because he didn't play to his strengths. Uh, he says that DC has improved a lot, but then he said, like, you know that you missed some moves, right? And DC's like, I thought I did them all. And then Rain kind of laughs, and he's like, there were a lot of mistakes that you made. And then he, you see Ollie, like, back in the waiting room, he's like, yeah, everyone else was going like, this, 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 this. And then he was like, this, like, um, and then they showed, like, some clips, and people in the comments were like, not the clips, but they showed, like, clips of, like, where he was a little bit, like, behind, or they showed this one clip where he's watching Carl in front of him for the moves. It's very funny. Um, but he's definitely, like, trying, and he's improved a lot. Uh, and then Xiao comments, and she says that Ellie is m the most experienced, but she asks him, like, why he didn't do anything, like, why he wasn't the leader. Uh, and then he says he knows that he knew... When he picked these boys, he knew what they could offer, um, and so that was why he picked them. Like, he knew that, like, Orenda was good with rap, and he knew that Doncha was good with dance. So he wanted to pick, like, people that he knew could offer something. Um, and then they didn't show this in the aired version, but in the, um, extended version they mentioned this a little bit. So I'm not entirely sure what they said, but, like, that he actually did a lot for them. Like... He says he did nothing, but he really didn't. Like, they showed, like, he was giving ideas and opinions the whole time in the dance practice, and he would just kind of, like, he knew how to set the mood, and he knew what to say to, like, get them out of their funk when they'd been practicing for a long time. Um, he came, like, he boosted morale, and he gave them a lot of motivation. And then, like, right before they performed, they did show this, but, uh, like, they heard him say it, and then on the extended version, you, they, like, went back and showed it again. But he told the group, he said, like, like, to, before they started their performance, he said, this is our last performance ever. Like, basically treat it like it's your last performance. Oh, I did write my thoughts. Well, oh, and then Xiao said she wants him to do her two favors. She wants to see his eyes in his next performance. Um... And then she wants him to use less gestures, because she said, you're already cool and handsome, and you don't need as many gestures to, like, show that you're cool and handsome. Which I think is why he didn't stand out to me as much, because there was a lot of, like, posturing, I guess, that you would call it. Um, I think it's tricky to pick a group that wins, because I think, like, in terms of skill with singing and vocals, Ellie's group was better. But in terms of, like, watchability and dance, I liked Sonia's group better. Um, but Ellie's group wins, or Orenda's group wins, basically, uh, and then people were commenting that the Machne of Boyhood beat the leader of Boyhood. Um, I did take a screenshot of just Dancha's eyes when he dances. They're so different. Like, he definitely has, like, baby energy when he's, like, out and about being, just existing. But when he's dancing, his, like, eyes changed. And I really wanted to, like, capture that. It's so wild. Um, and at the end of their song, towards the end of the song, like, Orenda does a rap. And uh, DC does, like, a high note underneath the rap. I think he does the rap over DC's high note. Um, because I think Sunhei does the high note in the first group. But you kind of see the other group, they're like, ah! Oh! Like, they kind of look like, oh, we should have done that. Like, or how come we didn't know we could do that or something? Like, that's kind of how their reaction is. Um, and it is really cool. It does really add to the song. I like it a lot. But that was, like, really the only time I ever saw Orenda. Um, they go back and they show their scores. 
And on Ellie's team, Orenda got a score of 14. Uh, Carl got 17. DC got 23. Jerry got 45. Doncha got 97. And then Ellie got hidden. And they're only like this far apart, like Ellie and Doncha. So they're pretty close. Um, when I first watched this, I had, didn't watch the performance until after I watched the episode. And I was like, wow, why is Orenda's score so low? Like, he's so, he's so good at what he does. But then, like, I barely noticed him during the whole song until the very end. He, like, had a rap part that he did. And for Sonhei's group, it's Paco gets 14, Dale gets 29, Neil gets 31, um, Sunday gets 41, Ashley gets 43, and then Sonhei gets a hidden, num a hidden one. And their gap is huge, like, between 43 and Sonhei. Uh, Son it's huge. Um, like, all the other ones are really low, and then it's really high. Um, and then the final group gets to come out, they kind of talk about that, and they said that, like, the producers can still vote for them, but they're, they don't have a chance at the bonus vote, and they get a bonus vote if they won between the two, like, battles, so they don't get a bonus vote, but they get, they still get whatever votes they get from the fans. Um, and so it is the G, the group that was the last five ranked, um, so it's G Thursday, Ablit, Kuhn, Zach, and Dylan. Uh, so they're in their preparation, they're talking about how no one could lead in dancing because they all were kind of just a hodgepodge of people, they didn't get to choose their members. Um, so they're kind of messy. Zach struggled a lot and Kuhn, um, and then at the midterm point they danced for Xiao and she tells Dylan that he should be the one kind of leading the dancing because he's the one who dances the best and picks it up the best. Um, and then the Fama duo tells them that they should be more confident despite what their circumstances is. Like they're basically telling them, they're like, we know you didn't get to pick your group. We know that you're feeling really down. We know that you're at, like the last ranked. And they're like, don't think about the rankings. Like the rankings are just rankings. Like just, they're like, just have confidence. Like you need to have confidence because you're never going to go up if you don't have confidence. And they have, um, Kuhn, they basically tell him, they tell him to say, like, look forward to it, but say it with gusto, and he goes, yeah, look forward to it, like, he just yells it, it's very cute, um, and then they're called the Team Unhappy Silly Boys who want to take their places, and they, um, they are singing one and only, and they come out and introduce themselves, and G Thursday says he's gonna take his place with his voice and his power, um, and he gives a shout out to the members a shout out to Dee Dee Morcash, um, and the brothers who helped him. Oh, the show and the brothers who helped him. Um, Zach says he's the unhappy keyboardist who's taking his place by being quiet. A blitz says he's the silly boy who takes his place with the size of his clothes. Dylan says he's ha has takes his place with his positive energy. Coon says he's the captain. Um, and he said he's silly today, unhappy tomorrow. Um, and then the boys in the greenhouse, are, or the green room, are clapping in support of them. Uh, or no, they do their performance, and then the boys in the green room are clapping and, like, standing. Um, I think Dylan and Ablit really stood out to me. Ablit has, like, this really infectious smile, and Dylan's facials are just so good, especially for that song. Um, Shao says that she saw a lot of improvement from their midterm assessment. Uh, G Thursday and Zach are first timers of dancing and she said that they really improved a lot um, and that their attitude is really good. They have a really good attitude and um, Six Wing says that Zach, seem, Zach seemed really down at the midterm assessment like almost like he had nothing left to live for um, but he has improved a lot and Zach is like no 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 I didn't and then he's uh, Six Wings says he's rooting for a reversal win. Like, he's rooting for them to do really well. Um, Rain said that there are some boys in the competition that, skills-wise, might not be as good as the members in this group, but they found good teammates that made them look really good. Um, and so he said, like, and this is a general across the board for everybody, nobody should worry about the ranks, because the ranks can change but like focus on your skill and your growth and what you can do um 
and you could kind of tell like all of the boys on stage were really trying to like hold back tears because they just felt so touched by like the support from everybody and the fact that they did get to perform on stage and how well they did like it was really like I was almost bursting into tears like I felt really touched too um, they go in the back and they get to see their scores and the scores are G Thursday got 10 Zach got 36, Kuhn got 64, Ablitch got 68, and Dylan got 98 points. Um, and then they come out and they're all standing, like, after the night is over, and Rain comes out on the stage, and he, like, congratulates everyone on doing a good job. Hold on. Okay, so Rain compliments everyone on doing a good job, and then he says that he's gonna tell them the new rankings says I'm gonna reveal the um, I'm gonna reveal the scores from um, 11 to 99 or 11 to 65 and then they just put them on the screen and so the boys can kind of like see their faces which feels weird because like then the then the top 10 boys know they're in the top 10 because if their face is not on the screen um, but I guess I don't know where they are yeah Gemini dropped from 8th to 12th and then Elliot dropped, or went up from 31st to 11th, and everyone was like, wow, Elliot is up so high. And Vic dropped from 4th to 42nd, and he was feeling kind of bummed. He's like, did I not show enough of myself? Like, what is happening? I'm going to do better. And Sky dropped from 9th, it says 9 to 42nd, but he must be 4th, I think because they got the same amount of votes. Um, Sky, the young one, and he said that, like, he'll just do better. He's like, I'm not focusing on the rankings too much. Um, he's like, there's always a next time, basically, and I was, and everyone was saying, like, how mature he was, um, and then Rain says he's gonna announce the top ten, because the boys, the, the top ten, or the top boy from each group doesn't know what their score is yet, um, so they don't know who got more scores, so they don't know who they're ranked by, because these are purely the scores based on who based on the votes from the, um, from the fans that were there. So if they voted 17, you only have 17 points, so, like, whatever. Um, but the top 10 is, um, Dancha, and he's up from 16th, and he knows what his score was, because he was second in his group. Um, Dylan is ranked 9th, he's up from 65, and everyone was like, wow, Dylan did really good. Like, um, Shin Hao is... 8th, and he's up from 35th. Um, Shi Yu is up from 44th. He's up to 7th. 6th is Ellie. He's down from 2nd. 5th um, is Felix. He's up from 38th. 4th is Shin. He moved all the way from 55th. 3rd is Sonhei. He's up from 14th. 2nd is Kingsley. He moved up from 12th. And then 1st is Ollie, and he stayed the same. Um, so he got more votes. Like, they don't tell you still how many votes they got. But, you know, if Dylan got 98, then that means Shin Hao got at least 99. Like, that kind of way. Um, then they uh, are all kind of standing there. And then they say, Rain leaves, and then they come out and they say, like, I have an announcement to make for everybody. And everybody's like, an announcement? Um, and they said that, like, we have rules and we expect you to follow those rules. And basically they said that, like, the Wolfsburg family, they added a rap into their song, and the other team did not, and they said in the rules, which I did say in my video, because they made an extra point to say that, like, uh, you can't remix your song. Um, and I was like, oh, I wonder why they said that. Like, maybe it's for copyright reasons. Like, I just thought that in my head. Um... And maybe because of editing, they made it a point to leave, like, put that in. Like, maybe they would have cut that part out, but because this happened, um, because, like, Orenda said earlier in the show that the midterm happened on, like, September 1st or something, so we, like, we know this happened se several months ago, so I wonder if when they edited it, they specifically left that part in so that when they put this part in, it would make sense, um... But they said they added a rap and the other team did not. So they get to keep their scores from the producers, like the fans that were at the show. But they don't get bonus votes because because their team won, so their team would get bonus votes. 
um, but they don't get to keep those bonus votes because they didn't follow the rules, but they get to keep their ranking from the fans. And then you see Ellie and he just kind of nods and they show him off to the side. And I like was thinking the whole time, oh, okay. Yeah, I was just thinking for a, like the whole time, like they should, I feel like someone should have told them that at some point, unless they didn't tell anybody. But I feel like, you know, their singing teacher or their, at the midterms, like Zhao or the, or Fama could have said something or like anybody along the way could have said something, but maybe they didn't, yeah, maybe they just threw it in there and they didn't tell anybody. I'm not sure. Show the votes as of the episode airing, or the ranks as of the episode airing, um, which I'll tell you those at the end. And then there's a preview for next week, and next week is the battle for the Signal Song Center, which I always hate this part because the Signal Song has been released for so long, like since before the show aired, that I already know who's the center because I've seen the Signal Song multiple times. Like, I already know who the center is, so it's like, but I feel like there'll be some funny content. Um, I'm assuming there won't be as much to talk about, so it won't be as long of a video, which would be nice. Uh, but these are the rankings as of the airing of the episode. Um, Zach is 63rd, John is 62nd, I really like John, he has funny reactions. Ansel is 61st, Dee Dee Morcash is 60, 59 is Service, 58 is Louis, 57 is Smaller Sean, 56 is DC, 55 is Tuna, 54 is Walker, 53 is Paco, 52 is Bobo, 51 is Neil, 50 is Shin, 49 is Hiromu, 48 is Lucifer, 47 is G Thursday, 46 is Hugo, 45 is Vic, he's still quite low, 44 is Dale, 43 is Ablit, 42 is Renuske, 41 is Carl, I like Carl a lot. 40 is Sean with a W. 39 is Kuhn. 38 is Dez. 37 is Kuske. 36 is Albert I. 35 is The Boys Planet 1. 34 is Sunday or Shenda. 33 is Jerry. 32 is Sky with an E. 31 is Albert. I really like Albert a lot. 30 is Elliot. 29 is Orenda. 28 is Akalyar. 27 is Ashley. 26 is Kingsley, 25 is Aiden, 24 is Dylan, 23 is one, but the one from Tao's company, 22 is Leo, 21 is Roy, uh -oh. 20 is CI, 19 is Tomoki, 18 is Baker Sean, 17 is Li Yu, 16 is Albin, 15 is Atia, 14 is Muching, 13 is Sky, the young Sky. 12 is Shiyu, 11 is Dansha, 10 is Gemini, Na the top 9 is 9 is Shinhao, 8 Dongbin, 7 Felix, 6 Archie, 5 Hugo, 4 Junlan, 3 Ellie, 2 Sonhe, 1 is Ollie. Um, would I listen to this group? 100% I would listen to this group. Would I buy this group's album? I feel like for sure the debut album... I w I'm not sure if I would continue buying it. Um, I feel like this is basically... This group is basically um, a boyhood UEFA group. Hi, baby. Because um, there's three boyhood members in it right now. And then Ellie and Ollie, who are also from UEFA. Uh, and then... Felix and Hugo, and then two foreign members, Archie and Dongbin, just kind of thrown in there. Um, I feel like I don't know anything about Hugo, so I'm not sure if I would stand him, but my battery is flashing at me, so I have to finish, but I am done talking about it. Um, yeah, that was my recap of Asia Super Young Episode 5. Stay tuned for next week where I recap the Signal Song Center challenge um episode six but yeah um thank you so very much for watching bye